Okay, I've uh, recently bought an HP 5032 printer and uh, it's set up on my network and everything's working fine. I can print from pretty much every device I've tried. Phone, uh, that's iPhone, Android phone, Windows computer, Chromebook, uh, MacBook, just everything works perfectly fine. Very, very simple and straightforward. Uh, and then I get to the Pi and I think, oh, I'll do a video on how to print from the Pi. And uh, so I go to HP uh, installation, uh, which is where they direct you to, uh, and it tells you to, it advises you to set it up with your smartphone. And to be fair, it is super easy to set up with a smartphone. And I'm guessing most people have got smartphones. If you've got a Pi, you are quite likely to have a smartphone. Um, obviously, there will be some exceptions, but uh, it it asks you to click on the instructions. Uh, so I click on the instructions, and. Uh, you can't find the page you're looking for. So you go down a bit of a rabbit hole and you search through it and you find Linux and it averts you to a different website and it gives you all different various versions of Linux. Uh, so I tried Debian, which was the nearest one to Raspbian um, and uh, I downloaded the file and I couldn't get it to execute. So um, I looked a bit deeper into it, looked on the forums and I found that some people have been talking about uh, something called CUPS, C-U-P-S. Uh, which is a, a like a universal sort of printer installer and for me I don't need the the Pi to print personally uh, but I thought I'd look for an easier option because I think if this is going to replace a desktop uh, and it and it wants to be quite seamless you know a lot of people say to switch to Linux or, or something like that to you know to get away from Windows and and have a good experience actually the printer experience is pretty poor uh, if I'm honest and I love this Pi uh, and there's so many things I've done on it and uh, you know from games and all sorts of things it's been great so I thought I'd look for an easier option and there is with this HP printer and it's uh, HP email print uh, and so if we go over to the printer okay so here is my printer it is set up cat hair that my cat's just been passed uh, so if I click on the bottom left little icon there, you can see that it comes up with web services summary and it comes up with an email and it says it's connected and HP ePrint is on. So all I need to do is put that email address, which I've blurred out because obviously I don't want everybody sending documents to my printer from around the world. Uh, so let's have a look uh, back on the Pi. Okay, so I've got my email set up on my Pi. Okay, so if I go into Compose, uh, and then start typing CF because my the email address of my HP printer starts off with a CF uh, and then click on that. Put a subject, doesn't really matter what you're doing in here, so we'll just put test. Uh, and then you want to attach a file. So in my case is, uh, in my case I'm just going to attach a picture uh, and so let's just go with my logo and hit open. So that's attached now hit send and that will now send to the printer. Now I don't know how long it will take. Uh, if you find it takes a long time I would advise you just turn off your printer and turn it back on again. Uh, they Sometimes they go in a bit of a, a, a deep sleep uh, and then nothing prints out. Uh, but once you send something if you go to your inbox uh, you'll see here I've got uh, ePrint job received. This is two previous ones I was doing as a test. Uh, and you can see, thank you for using HP's ePrint service. Uh, and then on the bottom line here, uh, it says thank you for using. It doesn't show you what the attachments are or anything. And you'll see on print cam that it's printing out now. So it doesn't take too long. Uh, obviously, I can find out when I, when I go back on the edit how long that took. Uh, I was looking through because I wasn't getting mine printing out and it just needed turning off and turning on again was all that was the problem with mine. But uh, you need to make sure that it's a supported document. Now where did I find that? Uh, yeah, check print email and print job requirements. So obviously PDF is on there. So confirm your attached file is compatible. There you go. So GIF, JPEG, PNG, BMP, or TIFF. Uh, documents, PDF, HTML, text, Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, or Excel. ePrint cannot print digitally signed, encrypted, or password protected documents. So what will be interesting to see is if it works with uh, the Office files that are in here. So if I go for LibreOffice Writer, and I'll, I'll make a document, so test doc 
for printing. I have no idea if this will work. Uh, insert a picture. Media. Gallery. Okay, we'll put we'll just put some sort of little uh, thing, but there must be an insert picture here as well. Shape text box. Image. <laughs> just image is fine. Pictures. Uh, I'll put my logo in it and hit OK. Oh, nicely formatted. So I'll just make that a little. Oh, well, that's because it it took the form of the previous thing, didn't it? So that little arrow that was there, uh, it took that. So insert object shape line basic arrow. Let me do that. Nice document. So we'll save that as uh, have we got word? Oh yeah, that word. 2007 to 2019 that'll probably work uh, make it same for right we're not worried about that uh, now where did I save that I wasn't really concentrating was it in documents I think it probably well let's do file and save as and yeah untitled doc in documents right I wonder if I can print it no let's I'll go back to the email so let's close that down uh, go back into my email, compose, and what did I say? It was CF. So I'm typing CF in here, which is the start of my printer, and I'm going to call that doc because it is a Word document. Uh, go into documents, find it, and that's it. Hit open. I wonder if it shows me a little preview. Doesn't show me a little preview, does it? than what it does if you click on it. So let's just go, let's just say send, and we'll see how long that takes to print. And also if I go in my inbox, I can see uh, that I've had, yeah, I've, I've sent three and I've received three. Interestingly how it doesn't, um, it just tells you there's a document. It doesn't actually give you any information about it. I mean, maybe that's some sort of privacy thing. So uh, if I go to sent, and then, yeah, doc is my Word document. So we're now just waiting, and it's got a lot darker in here. Oh, I can hear it's printing already. Yeah, that's pretty quick. So whilst that's printing out, uh, let's have a look. So PowerPoint Excel. Yeah, so you just need to make sure that you save in this type of format. So obviously PDF is gonna be a safe one if it's just a document and it's not gonna be, you know, you just wanna print it out then uh, you can pretty much save everything as PDF. Um, but, uh, but also, yeah, various different file formats. Anyway, I hope this helps. Uh, it just, I thought it was an easy way of printing from a Pi. If your needs are gonna be uh, more advanced than that and you need it to work as it does with the Windows computer, then you'll, you'll wanna look at that CUP system uh, and how to install that, but it, I don't really need it for my use. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.